zero current switching resonant converters. The switches of a zero current switching resonant converters turn on and turn off at zero current. The resonant circuit that consisting of switch S, inductor L, and capacitor C. We can see this is the switch type ZCS resonant converter. This is again classified into two types that this is L type and this is M type. So ZCS resonant converters first switch type whereas it is again divided into L type and M type both the circuits as shown here. In both types the inductor L is going to limit di by dt of the switch current and L and C constitutes series resonant circuit. When the switch current is zero, there will be a current I equals to C D V T by D T flowing through the internal capacitance due to a finite slope of the switch voltage at turnoff. This current flow will cause power dissipation in the switch and limits the high switching frequency. The switch can be implemented either half wave configuration in which this is L type and this is M type where diode D allows the unidirectional current flow and these two are the full wave type configurations. This one is L type and this one is M type. In full wave configuration, the switch current flows bidirectional. The practical device do not turn off at zero current due to their recovery times. As a result, an amount of energy will be trapped in the inductor L of the L type configuration and voltage transitions will appear across the switch. This favors L-type configuration over M-type configuration. This is regarding zero current switching resonant converter. Now let us see the L-type and M-type one by one. Now let us see L-type zero current switching resonant converter. This is the main circuit of the ZCS L-type and the circuit operation can be divided into five modes. We shall redefine the time origin T equals to zero at the beginning of each mode. So now the mode one this mode is valid for 0 less than t less than t1 when the switch s1 is on and the diode d conducts. The equivalent circuit will be the inductor current il which rises linearly is given by il equals to vs divided by the L into time T. Let it be equation number one. Now this mode ends at T equals to T1, where IL at T equals to T1 equals to I naught. That is T1 equals to this one is I naught. So I naught L divided by Vs. Mode two is in between zero T less than T2 when S1 is on but diode D is off, then the equivalent circuit will be now the inductor current IL equals to IM sine omega naught T plus I naught that is equation number two where IM equals to Vs square root of C by L and omega naught equals to 1 by root over LC. Now the capacitor voltage VC equals to Vs of 1 minus cos omega naught T. The peak switch current which occurs at T equals to pi by 2 of root LC is IP equals to IM plus I naught. Now the peak capacitor voltage VC of peak is equals to 2 Vs. This mode ends at t equals to t2 and IL at t equals to t2 equals to I naught and Vc equals to 2 Vs. Therefore, the time t2 equals to pi root Lc. Now, mode 3 is valid between 0 and t3. The inductor current falls from I naught to 0 that I L equals to I naught minus I M sine omega naught T. 
Let this be question number three. The equivalent circuit for the mode three. Now the capacitor voltage Vc equals to 2 Vs cos omega naught t. Let this be equation number 4. Now this mode ends at t equals to t3, where IL at t equals to t3 equals to 0 and Vc at t equals to t3 equals to Vc3. Thus t3 equals to root LC. Fine. Inverse of 1 by x, where x equals to i m by i naught, which equals to v s by i naught root c by l. Mode 4. Mode 4 is valid between 0, t, t4, and the equivalent circuit when the switch is open. Now, the capacitor supplies the load current and the voltage is given by Vc equals to Vc3 minus I0 by C in the term T. And this mode ends T equals to T4, where Vc at T equals to T4 equals to 0. Thus, T4 equals to Vc3 of C by I0. And let this be question number 5. Mode 5, when the switch is open and the capacitor is replaced with the diode. This mode is valid for 0, T less than T5. When the capacitor voltage tends to negative, the diode D conducts. The load current I0 flows through the diode. This mode ends at T equals to T5. When the switch S1 is turned on again and the cycle repeats. That is T5 is equals to the total time T minus T1 plus T2 plus T3 plus T4. The peak switching voltage equals to DC supply voltage Vs since the switching current is zero at turn on and turn off and the switching losses which is the product of V and I becomes very small. The peak resonant current IM must be higher than that of the load current I0. And this sets a limit on the minimum value of load resistance R. However, by placing an anti-parallel diode across the switch, the output voltage can be made insensitive to the load variations like this. Let us come to the waveforms. In the first mode, the current starts from 0 to and reaches I0. And in the second mode, it reaches to the maximum value of IM plus I0 value and decreases to I0 in second mode and in third mode it will become to 0 and this is going to start again after T. This is the inductor current IL. Now the voltage across the capacitor will be 0 in the first mode. In second mode it starts building and becomes equals to Vs when the IL is maximum. Then after that, it starts again building and reaches 2 Vs at the end of second mode. In third mode, it starts decreasing. At the end of fourth mode, it will become 0. And in fifth mode, it stays at 0. Again, after first mode, it starts building. These are the waveforms for L-type zero current switching resonant converter. This is regarding the L-type zero current switching resonant converter. Now M type zero current switching resonant converter. M type ZCS resonant converter as shown in this figure. This circuit operation can be divided into modes whose equivalent circuits are shown here. We shall redefine the time origin from t equals to zero at the beginning of each mode. The mode equations are similar to that of the L type ZCS resonant converter, except for the mode two. 3 mode 4 mode 2 where the capacitor voltage Vc is given by Vs cos omega t. That is equation number A. The peak voltage current that is Vc of peak is equals to Vs at the end of this mode that is t equals to 
t2 vc at t equals to t2 equals to vc2 which equals to minus vs mode 3 the capacitor voltage is given by vc equals to minus vs cos omega t that is the equation b at the end of this mode that t equals to t3 vc at t equals to t3 equals to vc3 and it should be noted that vc3 will have a negative a value now mode 4 this mode ends at t equals to t4 then vc at t equals to t4 equals to vs thus t4 equals to vs minus vc3 of c divided by i naught now we'll draw the waveforms in the first mode that is in between 0 and t1 the inductor current il is going to rise from the 0 to i naught and in mode 2 it will reach the maximum value of i naught plus i m and comes back to i naught in mode 3 the il is going to reach the value of 0 and stays at a 0 until the next cycle again the same process is going to take place the capacitor current the capacitor current in the mode 1 will be vs and in mode 2 it will reach to minus vs in mode 3 it is minus vs itself and in mode 4 it again rises and goes back to the positive value and in mode 5 it will be at vs and in the next cycle it will be at vs and starts decreasing so these are the waveforms regarding m type zero current switching resonant converter this is regarding the zero current switching resonant converter if this video is useful please like share and subscribe